Hi, my name is Emily. I'm going to be performing the scale insertion of a Foley catheter. I'm in the appropriate school attire. Badge is visible. No polish, no acrylic nails, and no jewelry. My supplies for this video, a pair of gloves, trash bag, two washcloths, Foley catheter kit, and my person. Um, for this school video, um, uh, to start it off, I will gather my supplies. So knock on my patient's door, enter, close the door behind me to ensure patient privacy, and set my supplies down on a clean, dry, flat surface. I will come over here and I will hand hygiene and introduce myself to the patient. Hi, Mrs. Smith, my name is Emily. Can I have your name and date of birth? As I verify with their wristband. Good, okay, well, as I said, my name is Emily. I'm here um, because your doctor put in an order for a Foley catheter to be placed due to some urinary issues you've been having, okay? Is that okay? All right, awesome. Well, how it works is first, I will get you in the correct position for insertion. I will clean your perineal area and check it out, make sure there's nothing going on down there, make sure it's okay for the insertion. Then I will um, get my everything set up down here, clean you again, and then it'll be time for the catheter insertion. I will walk you through um, each step. I'll tell you what you need to do, what I will be doing. Um, if you experience any pain throughout the procedure, please let me know. Two things, try to remain as still as possible. Um, and then don't touch any of the sterile stuff I have out. We want to maintain sterility as best as possible. Um, yes, do you have any questions for me? No? Okay, awesome. Well, I'm going to go ahead and get started, okay? I'm going to put some gloves on. Oh, before I get started, I'm going to remove my uh, ID badge now that you've seen it, okay? And put it on the table over here. All right. I don't want it leaning over the sterile field. All right, so I'm going to lay you down, okay? I'm going to lay the head of the bed. All right, you are laying flat. Will you please lift your legs, bend your knees. There you go. Now spread them open. That way I have plenty of room to work here, okay? Are you comfortable? Okay. All right. I have a trash bag here that I'm going to put beside your hip. Um, try not to knock it off the table. There we go. All right. So I've got you in the correct position. I'm also going to hire the bed so it's a good working height for me. All right. I'm going to uncover you, and I'm going to start by uh, cleaning the panel area. One of my wash rags has some no rinse soap on it. So I'll start with that. I'll dry you, and then proceed to the next step. Okay? All right. I'm going to uncover you, okay? All right. You're going to feel me touching you down here. All right. <clears throat> when cleaning a patient's perineal area, I want to start on the side furthest away from me and wipe down from top to bottom. Get a new area on the side closest to me. Wipe top to bottom down. Get a new area down the center, top to bottom. Okay? I'm going to pat dry you, Miss Smith. And then I want to just fully pat dry top to bottom. Ensure that my patient is dry, her perineal area is dry. I'm just going to inspect um, the perineal area, make sure there's no concerns. I don't see any cause for concern. I have identified the urinary meatus. All right, Miss Smith. I'm done with that step. Remove my gloves, put in the trash here. All right, Miss Smith, give me just a second. I'm going to get everything set up, okay? I'm going to come over here, hand hygiene. Open up my catheter kit. Since I already have my trash bag over here beside my patient, I do not need to keep this, so I will bring it over here and dispose of it in my trash. All right, next up. Catheter um, kit is opened. I will grab two fingers, remove my gloves, come over here, and apply them appropriately. Two fingers. Okay, 
Come over here, four fingers. Grab the remaining glove, thumb out. Make sure not to lean over my sterile field. I do not need this anymore. I will touch in the center so I don't hurt my gloves and slide over here. All right, Miss Smith, I now have sterile hands. So I'm going to get started with draping you first, okay? You doing okay? Okay, good. All right, so first off, I'm going to get my drape out here. All right, so this drape I have here goes under your bottom. Miss Smith, will you please lift your hips for me? Good, thank you. Relax. And then this other drape I have goes over the top of your perineal area. We just want to maintain sterility as best as we can. Hold still. Okay. All right. All right, try not to move. I'm going to get everything prepared for your catheter, okay? Alcohol swabs out. Lay them here. Squeeze out some lubricant. And then take off the top of my syringe, attach it to the port, and remove this. Make sure it doesn't flop about. Tip of my um, catheter here. Place in the lubricant. Okay. All right, Miss Smith. And the next step is I do have to clean you again. Um, they might feel a little bit of cold, so don't be startled by that. All right, I'm going to come over here and touch you again, okay? All right. This hand is now dirty. This hand remains sterile. Grab an alcohol swab. Clean, same thing, throw this side away from me first, top to bottom. Get another one, clean side closest to me, top to bottom, dispose. Another one, down the center, top to bottom. All right, next step, control that around. All right, Miss Smith. So the next step is for the insertion of the catheter. What I want you to do is I want you to breathe in and out. And upon exhalation, I'm going to insert the catheter, okay? Remember, if you experience any pain, let me know, okay? All right, awesome. Go ahead and breathe in. When I'm hold, um, holding the catheter, I will hold two or three inches away from the end of the tip of the catheter. Go ahead and breathe in. All right, there you go. I'm inserting the catheter. Are you doing okay? Good, good job. Okay. I have urine flashback. When uh, visualizing urine, I must advance another two inches. All right. I can now let go here. Holding with my non-dominant hand, two fingers. I come over here, fill the syringe, make sure the whole 10 milliliters goes in. It is all in. I can let go here, come over here, disconnect, drop in my trash. Then after I'm um, inserting the full syringe, I pull back till I meet resistance. I have met resistance. All right, Ms. Smith, catheter is in. From here on out, sterility is complete. Just give me a minute. I'm going to move all my stuff, um, clean up my mess, and then I'll wipe the perineal area. Just get off any lubricant, okay? I'm just wiping you. Dispose of this in my trash can over here. All right. So for this portion, oh, oh, dispose of this too. 
Next, I need to um, hang your bag on the side of your bed. But before that, Ms. Smith, I'm going to attach a stat lock to the side of your leg. It's what holds your urinary catheter in place. When applying a stat lock to the leg, it needs to be the um, inside thigh. I need to make sure there's enough slack so that this tubing here does not pull tension on her catheter. So I've stuck it to her leg. I attach it at this bifurcation area here. It is attached. Okay. Then I will hang the catheter bag on the bed frame, not the bed rail. If there happens to be any excess tubing, I can coil it up and use this to hook it to the bed sheets. All right, Ms. Smith, I'm going to cover you up. Um, she is hooked up. I suppose this is my trash. All right, Ms. Smith, I'm going to sit you back up in the bed. Good, okay. Let me hand hygiene. Good. Are you comfortable in the position you're in? Okay. So some education for uh, your urinary catheter. You want to make sure that if you get up, call us. We don't want you getting up by yourself because this catheter bag can be a safety hazard. And then also, the tubing between your legs there, we don't want tension on the tubing. So if any slack, if you notice any slack gone, let us know. And then also, most important, the bladder, your, excuse me, the urinary catheter bag needs to stay below your bladder at all times, whether you're in the wheelchair, sitting outside of bed, whenever. Okay? Does that sound okay? All right, awesome. My patient is in a comfortable position. Her bed is low. She has her call light. I have hand hygiene. I will get my ID and go document my results.